Hey guys, and welcome back to Ria's World of Ideas. If you are new to my channel, I am Ria, and on my channel I love sharing all the ideas that I find helpful in my life and home, and hopefully you'll find them helpful in your life and home as well. So if you're not a subscriber already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave this video, and also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're always notified on all the new videos that I put out. And if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it so that I'm able to bring more videos to you guys in the future that you guys would like. So with all that being said, let's just jump into today's video and like you guys saw with the intro, it is a clean, basically a spring clean and decorate with me. So I need to get some spring cleaning done in my home. There's some things that need to be dusted that sometimes we just do all the topical cleaning and we don't do like the deep, deep cleaning. So I'm going to do some of that today. Plus I also need to touch up on some of the paint in my home because some of the furniture pieces I've repainted them and the finish that I put on them kind of left it like a yellow tint. So I have to re paint those so I'll be kind of doing some of those today as well so it'll be like a spring clean with me um, update some furniture pieces and then also a decorate with me because I'm gonna be decorating for Easter now today I'm gonna start off with my entryway and my living room and I think that's what I'm gonna try to just focus on today I might jump into the dining room in the kitchen or I might make it a separate video but I don't know I'm just gonna go with what I feel and if I feel like doing it today I will push through and if I don't then that's okay I'll just take it for another day now it is a gloomy day outside so if it is dark um, in the video I apologize because Texas weather is just all over the place today like it always is and the Sun comes out a little bit but then it's like cloudy then it comes out so it's just really crazy so I want to apologize ahead of time um, if the video is a little bit darker than what I would like it to be so the first thing I want to start off with is I'm gonna share with you guys some of the cleaning products that I'm gonna be using for today's video and a lot of my other videos I share with you guys the cleaning products and I'm I'm basically using some of the same things but when it comes to deep cleaning I use some other ones so I'm gonna start off with sharing with you guys the stuff that I'm gonna use today and then we'll start off with the cleaning so if you need some cleaning motivation guys get in your comfortable clothes and get cleaning with me okay so here I have my little Dollar Tree cleaning caddy and as you can see one of the bottles doesn't fit in it perfectly but that's okay I just use this one basically for deep cleaning um, and so I don't need it to be like all perfect for every day cuz you know these big bottles I just use it for deep cleaning but I want to share with you guys some of the things I use now you guys know that I always like to use my basil scent mrs. Myers basil scent multi-purpose multi-surface everyday cleaner I use this on all the time and this I actually love using for every day and it can be used for deep cleaning but um, I'm not using that today but I did want to share with you guys this is the one that I always use and everything I have I'll have it linked down below if you guys want to get it um, and I have coupon codes for Girl Collaborative which I love but this is my favorite like ride or die everyday spray because I love the smell of it and it cleans very well but for today's cleaning I'm going to be doing some other um, sprays so what I'm going to do is I have this one spray that I'm well let me get this one out because this one's heavy um, I have this one spray here it's a glass bottle and I actually made my own solution this is the Dr. Dr. Burners, Burners, I don't know. Um, anyway, the, he does the Pure Castile soap, and you can get this at Girl Collaborative as well. Um, this is the peppermint scent one, and I love this because you can actually make so many recipes from this actual soap. And one of the things I do is I make a multi-surface uh, purpose, like deep cleaning spray. And I love using this for my deep cleaning because I told you guys in my videos before, uh, spiders don't like the scent of peppermint. So whenever I'm doing a deep cleaning, when I'm cleaning the baseboards and things like that, I love to clean things with a peppermint scent because it prevents the spiders from coming in my home. So that's why I like using this um, this type of soap because it has, it's the peppermint scent and you know you can make so many different things like I said with this. But you don't have to actually get this one. You can make any type of homemade um, cleaner that you want and just add some peppermint essential oils to your cleaner and that can do the same trick as well but I got this in a growth collaborative order and I actually like this I've ordered this this I got four years ago and as you can see guys look how much I have left a little goes a long way with this um, pure castile soap and I just use it for this solution this deep cleaning um, solution that I make like I said I've had this for like four years now I think for well, three or four years now and I still have a lot left so that's what I like to use whenever I'm doing my deep cleaning for my baseboard I make my own little solution with water and it gives you the measurements on here and how to make it so if you ever purchase this um, it will let you know how much to make for your solution and I will link that down below in the growth collaborative website if you want to make your own but that's the main thing I'm gonna do for like the baseboards and also for the furniture pieces because again like I said I want to prevent the spiders from coming but if there are some stains that I can't get up that are like some stubborn stains that this solution doesn't um, this, this solution won't get up. I like to go in with my awesome spray that I get from Dollar Tree. This thing is truly awesome, um, but it does have a strong scent and I try not to clean um, as much with it if I don't have to, but sometimes there's some stains that just this, this cleaner and 
the basil scent, this cleaner just won't get up. And so that's when I have to bring in the awesome and use it. But I try not to use it if I don't need to because I kind of like to use all natural things mostly. And then for my glass cleaner, you guys know that I use the Mrs. Myers glass cleaner and the lavender scent. My daughters love this one. This is the one I always use and you've seen me use it in my cleaning video. So that's what I'll be doing for the glass as well. And then um, I always have um, used dryer sheets. So I don't know if you guys know this, but you guys use dryer sheets, like the dryer sheets that are not the ones that, not dryer sheets that you put, you know, that you buy and just grab, but the used ones, the ones that come out of the dryer after you run the dryer cycle, they're like, they tend to be softer. These are great for dusting. They, I love using them to dust my baseboards and um, a lot of things in my home because the dust, like, uh, it, it gets attracted to it. It sticks to it and it, and it's just easy because you have them already from the dryer. So it's easy, easy to clean the baseboards while that gunk and stuff like that. And you could just wipe, you know, pick up the dust and then throw it away. So I love it because it's basically like free cleaning, a free, um, a free cleaning tool for you because you have these dryer sheets from your dryer and then you could just use them to clean the baseboard with the dust and stuff, you know, the dirt and the dust and you don't want to keep um I don't like using the to get the dust off of, I don't like using the dust um using my rags to get the dust off and then having to clean it I like the fact that I can get all the grime and dust off first with this and throw this away and then go in with my cleaning spray and actually wipe it down with the rags so that's what I do to dust my baseboards and everything else I use dry used dryer sheets because they pick up dust well and then you could just toss it away um but then for the furniture for every day you guys have seen me use this I have to actually throw it in the washing machine because as you can see it's dirty and dusty but this is a car um a car mitt that you can get in the dollar section at Dollar Tree and I love it because it's easy to dust and you'll see me use it to clean my blinds for the windows. It's just so easy to, you know, put on your hand and be able to dust. So I love using this. And then I have the Dollar Tree's Magic Erasers because again, if I have a tough stain that um, these cleaners can't get to, I use the Magic Erasers. So that is what I use for my deep cleaning. Oh, and also I have two different color um, microfiber cloths. I got this from Amazon a while back and if I can find a version of this, I will link it down below. But I like to color coat my microfibers because I like to use them for different things. The green one I have is always for the bathroom. The yellow one is for like the rest of the house, the furniture pieces, and the blue one is always for the glass. It's like glass cleaner. So that is um, the things that I'll be using today to clean, to deep clean or spring clean my house. So like you guys have seen in my other videos, whenever I undecorate my house, I always take my laundry basket and use it to take down all my decor because I'm the type that I like to organize my decor in a certain way in my bins. And so that way I'm able to like put everything in the laundry basket, kind of sort it out on the dining room table and then be able to organize it into the bin that I'm going to put it in to pack it away. So that's what I like to do. And I'm also taking off these, um, this little decor piece that I had on the walls because the funny thing is these things used to be black and then when I was in my like glam phase I decided to spray paint them silver and now I'm in like a modern decor phase like a modern neutral decor phase and I kind of want to spray paint them black so um since I'm doing spring cleaning I'm gonna take them down and uh, spray paint those black I'm also going to be taking down that big mirror that you guys see um it's a Dollar Tree mirror I made it with Dollar Tree products I'm also going to be taking that down and spray painting that as well um I want to have like a white feel to that so I'm going to be taking that stuff down. So this is just like the perfect time, you know, spring cleaning time is the perfect time to take things down and kind of touch up on some things, um, especially when I'm taking down all the, um, you know, the Valentine's Day decor. Um, so that's what I'm going to start off doing. Just take everything down and I'm going to move all the furniture pieces out that I want to paint and then I'll get started with the deep cleaning. So now since I moved all the furniture pieces out, I'm going to start in with my dusting and I'm going to take one of those used dryer sheets and I'm going to start with the tops of my door, um, the top of the door baseboard and then work my way down to the bottom baseboards and just do some dusting on that before I go in there and kind of take my spray and wipe everything down. And the reason why I dust everything before I wipe things down, I've told you guys before, if you never dust stuff first, um, 
then and you go in with your sprays all you're gonna do is move dust around and when dust gets wet it is so hard to get off the surfaces that you're trying to clean like I even do this in my bathroom I will dust the toilet off and I will dust the sink I will dust the the tub anything that has dust on it I will dust it first before I put before I put any spray on it um, because it's just it's just so hard to clean when dust gets wet if you ever got dust wet and try to clean that off you know what I'm talking about it is so hard to clean so whenever you are cleaning any surface I suggest dusting it first before you add any wet spray to it So here I just want to show you guys how well the used dryer sheet works and how it just attracts the dust to it and it's so easy to use to dust any part of your house. And then I wanted to give you guys a close up of my baseboards and yes this is like very vulnerable for me because I'm showing you my baseboards and you can see that they are really really dirty because I haven't spring cleaned or done a deep clean in a long while in this entrance way. But all I do is I take my used dryer sheet and I slide it up against the top of the baseboard and as you can see look at how the dust just comes on to this used dryer sheet and it's stuck on there and you're not getting it everywhere around your house it doesn't fall or anything like that when you're using other dusting um, material you know not materials but uh, dusting tools you just slide it and it sticks to the used dryer sheet so that you're not getting it all over your floor and then I also like to um, take the dryer sheet as well and then go down the, the middle part of the, the baseboard as well because um, that can get some dust as well and then I'll go in with my spray and then I forgot to share with you guys but I also use a used and like an old toothbrush and I use it to scrub the baseboards as well as you can see I scrub the top and the middle part that I told you I dusted and also at the bottom because even though I'm gonna mop the bottom I like to scrub it on the bottom to get some stuff that maybe the mop can't get to and as you can see look with the spray and the toothbrush a lot of the stains are coming up now my baseboards do need to be repainted because they've been scuffed I haven't done a deep cleaning in a long while but as you can see with just this you know the toothbrush and then I wipe it with the rag it got a lot cleaner and so this is how I do my baseboards all over my home I also go in and dust the top baseboards of our study room doors. This is actually my husband's man cave. So I go in and I dust it just like I did the front door and then I'll go in with that all purpose spray that I created and um, basically spray it around and wipe down all the wood part of the baseboards of that door and also the wood part of the study room doors and then after I have wiped all that down then I'll go in with my glass cleaner and clean the actual window part of the doors and I like to clean the wood part first because once you're spraying that spray around and it gets everywhere in the wood part if I was to do the glass part first and then go in and do the wood part then that uh, all-purpose spray would have got all over the glass part and then I would have to redo the windows so I always like to do the wood part of the door and the wood part of the base the baseboard of the door first and then go in second and do the glass part of the doors and the one thing you won't see me do in this video is um, dust and clean my light fixtures which normally when I'm doing a deep clean in this area or any area in my home I do dust and clean my light fixtures that are up in the ceiling but I couldn't find my uh, my dust extent like I have a duster that has an extender to it and I couldn't find it on this day to do it um, so that's why you won't be seeing me do it in this video but normally if I do a deep clean in any area I do dust and clean the light fixtures you know the ones that are like up in the ceiling I also use a toothbrush when it came to cleaning the door because it had like these little grooves and crevices where the rag was not getting to so the toothbrush really came in handy um, to get to those spots that I couldn't get to with the rag and don't feel like you have to do this cleaning all in one day you guys like I originally at the beginning of the video I told you guys I originally thought about doing the entranceway in the living room but once I started cleaning the entranceway I realized I was like you know what I'm just gonna do the entranceway today and I'll save the living room for another day when I can you know actually take some time to deep clean it 
because when I do deep clean my you know areas in my home I don't want to skimp on anything I want to actually when I'm going to deep clean in there I want to get in there and do it right so once I started doing the entrance way I really noticed that I had to you know really get into there and clean it um, and it was going to take me a, a little bit longer than normal so I just decided that I was just going to do the entrance way today and then save the living room for another day when I can actually concentrate on just the living room now this uh, door has some scuffs on the bottom of it and so I went in with my Dollar Tree Magic Eraser which they comes two in a pack but they do have the actual Magic Eraser brand at Dollar Tree as well but you only get one in a pack but I find that the Dollar Tree brand one works just as well and it got the scuffs um, off of the bottom of the door which I was happy about because I can't understand why we get these little scuffs at the bottom of the door because it's not like we kick the door so I don't understand how all these little scuffs come but maybe we accidentally do I don't know but I was able to get them out with the Magic Eraser so that's another thing that you can use along with your sprays uh, the Dollar Tree Magic Erasers work wonderful and then I just continued on with the baseboards um, and just cleaning them to the best of my ability and guys don't feel like you have to make them perfectly white because honestly when it comes to baseboards because of if you are living real life real life with kids you're never going to get those things perfectly white when you try to clean them because there's going to be things that just don't come off so I gave myself some grace and I was like I'm going to clean it to the best of my ability and then come summertime I will just touch it up with white paint to make it look better but for today I'm just going to do the best that I can This vacuum right here, you guys, I just love and it makes cleaning so much fun and easy for me. I can never go back to a vacuum that has a cord. Um, if you want to get this vacuum, I'll link it down below. It's really inexpensive and it reminds me a lot of the Dyson, but way cheaper. So I'll definitely link it down below for you guys. Now, when it comes to mopping my floors, I love using Fabuloso and I feel like this is a staple in Hispanic households. We like every Hispanic I know uses Fabuloso to clean their floors and it makes your house smell so good as well after you mop it. And the mop I like to use is this Rubbermaid mop. As you can see, you can slide against the baseboards. So you can not only clean your floor with this mop, but you can also clean your baseboards on a daily basis really easy with this mop. So I just love it. So now it's the next day and I'm bringing all my painted furniture back in. As you can tell, this furniture piece used to be brown because you can see the inside where I didn't paint it at. I'm just the type of person that I only paint what you can see because I like to save on paint because, you know, I'm, I'm always a, a person about a budget. So that's how I paint things, only what you can see. So I'm just bringing everything back in because it took a day for it to dry. I don't like to bring stuff in the same day because then um, when you put stuff on top of it, it'll get stuck onto that thing because like if I put stuff on my little table right there all the stuff will get stuck to it because the paint wasn't fully dried so I'm going in and I'm hanging this mirror back up as you can see it's it's giving me it's a uh it's, it's kind of hard to put this thing back up by myself. So I have the hubby coming in here helping me. And like I said, this is my Dollar Tree mirror. And the way that I hang it up is I have three nails so that they're each hooked up on each of the mirror frames so that it holds it up. That way it's like three nails holding it up and not just one. I don't want this to fall. And then of course I have to clean up, you know, any thumbprints that I had left on it. And then now it's about to, it's time to start decorating again. So I'm putting some candles back up that I already had. And then I'm going to add this little Easter bunny, um, kind of, I don't even know what they call it. It's just an Easter decor piece that I saw at Dollar Tree. I thought it was so adorable and I thought it'd be so cute to put in the middle of the mirror because I, I want I want things when I put stuff on the mirror, I want to be able to still see the mirror. So this was perfect to have a little decor piece, but you could still see your reflection in the mirror. This tear tray that I'm adding back in to my decor is one that I've made on my channel a while back and I made it with Dollar Tree products. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down below. But I'm just gonna add some stuff back in, some uh, stuff that I already had and then add some Easter stuff. So the little riser, I got it from the Target Dollar Spot a while back and then this little bunny right here is one of the bunnies that I got from Hobby Lobby that I shared with you guys in my Hobby Lobby haul. And then this little wood sign here, I also found a Hobby Lobby. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put it down below. I got a bunch of cute things from Hobby lobby for less than five dollars so definitely check that out i'm also adding this little uh greenery like this little i don't know what they, i guess a greenery bunny that they have at dollar tree they come three to a pack this little riser right here i also got from hobby lobby i thought it was so beautiful that blue this little house right here is a diy that i recently made and i will put that video down below if you haven't seen it 
and then I'm gonna add some carrots and a little terracotta, terracotta pot that they have at Dollar Tree. I just spray painted it white and then added these little carrots that they have in the Easter section at Dollar Tree right now. They come, I think, five to a pack and I've been using them. You're gonna see that I'm gonna use these little carrots to decorate a bunch of things, a bunch of places in my home. And I also use it for some recent DIYs as well. So definitely check out my DIYs that I've been making. This little bunny I also got from Hobby Lobby. I believe this one was $1.79. It's so cute. You're going to see the other ones that are just like this. I'll be decorating with in my home. I'm taking another one of those little greenery bunnies. Um, I think they're called moss bunnies. Yeah, I'm taking another one of those moss bunnies that come three to a pack and putting it down below. This little truck was so cute and I was so happy when I found it at Hobby Lobby. It was $4.99 and I believe I got it for $2.79. Um, it does have a deep indention inside of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting a plastic bag in there so that that way when I fill it up with eggs I don't have to put so many of the eggs in it because when I did start to fill it up um, off camera all of the eggs were like falling inside of it so I just decided to put the bag to help me out with it and the eggs that I'm using to fill them with is these little foam eggs that they also have in the Easter section at Dollar Tree and I'm going to use a couple of them just to fill it up um, so that it just looks like a truck you know full of eggs. Right next to the tear tray, I like to add my candle warmer and I switch out the scents depending on the seasons. Normally my favorite one to use all year round is the hazelnut cream from Mainstay at Walmart. I love this one, it smells so good. But because we are doing the Easter season and I kind of wanted to bring those pastel pink colors, I found this one at Walmart and I decided to try this one just so it can go with the color scheme that I'm decorating the table with. Um, hopefully it smells good, but I just wanted the colors all to match on this table. And the hazelnut cream kind of has like a brown beige color, which it's more of the fall colors. So I didn't want to use that. I wanted to kind of use something with a pink tone to it. This rabbit cake stand I found in the Target dollar spot um, for $5. They had two different ones. They had one for $3. It was a little bit smaller and this one for five. I was trying to find both of them, but I was only able to find one. And so I got this one, but I really wanted the other one too as well. Um, these moss bunnies were also in the Target dollar spot as well. They're each $3 and these were also hard to find. Everybody was like taking these fast and also this rabbit cake stand. But I was super excited that one day I was there when they actually unpacked everything and I was able to find at least one of each of these. So I'm able to decorate my home with it. So if I have my little bunnies, you know, I got to add some carrots to them. So I'm taking some of these Dollar Tree carrots again and I'm going to use them to decorate the little cake stand with the rabbits. On the other side of the table, I'm putting my jar vase that I got from Hobby Lobby that I shared with you guys in my haul. And I have those little beads that I also made. It was a Dollar Tree DIY. I'll put that video down below. But I have that over the little vase jar. And I took out the greenery that I had in it originally. And I want to add these little peachy pink flowers that I also found at Hobby Lobby for 50% off. And I just love these flowers. Like when I walked into Hobby Lobby and I saw these, this just screamed to me like uh, just Easter. I just love the colors of them and it, it just screams spring too. So I switched them out. You can keep the greenery that I already had in it if that's the type of stuff that you want, but I just loved how these flowers looked. Um, they are a little bit taller than the, 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 the other greenery that I had in it, but I just think they look beautiful together, especially going with the beads that I made with this jar. I just think it just perfectly went together. And then of course I have to add in my Germex bottle because you know, people need a Germex, um, before they come in my house. Moving on to the bottom of the table, I'm putting this crate that I made on my channel a while back. I'll put that video down below. I use this crate all the time to decorate with. This is an Easter pillow that I also made on my channel recently. I will put the link down below for that. This is one of those little, um, 
baby blankets that you can get at Dollar Tree that I actually cut it um, because I made the pillows that you guys see on my couch and so this piece was the piece that I had left over for making that pillow so I'm just using it to kind of stage the the crate to make it look like it's a blanket that's hanging over so I never like to get rid of the pieces that I cut because I always can use it for decor or something else so this little piece was perfect just to stage it to look like a little blanket hanging out of the basket um, again that's in the baby section at Dollar Tree and I'm just putting it to where you can see on the pillow so where you can see the actual bunny then I'm gonna go in with these little DIY beads that I made on my channel as well I will put that video down below I made a lot of Easter um, DIYs recently and these beads are the same kind of like the ones that I just shared with you that was on the vase and I just thought that they would be cute just hanging out of the crate as well so I'm just gonna tuck them in and kind of dangle them away so that you can see the bunnies both the bunnies and just kind of just keep rearranging them until they are the way that I like them Now over on the other side of the table, I'm gonna put this little wagon. I found this in the Target dollar spot a while back for $5. And I put that little galvanized welcome um, lettering on it I just glued it on it and these little bunnies right here are the foam bunnies that they had at Dollar Tree all I did was I painted it white because I kind of wanted to look like the other bunnies that I got from Hobby Lobby so I just completely painted it white I didn't add no eyes or nothing like that I kind of like the look of it just being completely white and I added it to this wagon along with some greenery that I found at Walmart for 97 cents and then I'm adding some eggs to it and these eggs are the little speckle eggs that they have at Dollar Tree that you've seen me use in my recent DIYs and you'll also see me use them um, as I decorate my home the rest of my home you'll see these little speckle eggs all around my home but I'm just putting them all in the little basket and I just like the way that they look all together and makes it like a cute little wagon spring decor and that is it for today's video you guys I hope you got tons of cleaning motivation with this video and I hope you got some decorating inspiration for Easter from this video as well I love how everything came out I make DIYs on my channel all the time and sometimes I don't know how everything's going to be put together in my home but I'm really loving the Easter decor this year that I have for my home and how all the colors are just going together I am super excited to decorate the rest of my home so stay tuned for my next video you will see how I decorate the rest of my home with all the other DIYs that I've been making on my channel and all of the other stuff that I've bought like from Hobby Lobby and other stores like Target so stay tuned for the upcoming videos because you'll see the rest of my Easter decor and how my home is decorated for Easter which came out so beautiful I can't wait for you guys to see it um, let me know in the comments down below any videos that you guys want to see coming up on my channel you guys know I like making videos for you guys and giving you guys all different you know motivation and inspiration so let me know in the comments down below and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye guys Hey guys, don't forget to click on the picture in the middle of the screen so you can subscribe to my channel and get notifications on all the new videos that I put out. And check out these other two videos that I have posted on my channel on either side of my picture. Have a great day.